Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. In these videos, what I try and do is I try and cover productivity tips, tools and techniques to help you move forward with making decisions on your kind of daily productivity, weekly productivity and then, you know, entirely yearly productivity. Kind of reviewing everything that's out there so that you can go away and apply it to your own systems. So what I'm going to do in this session is run over four top tips that I found are really handy uh, when using Evernote for web. And, and basically, I just want to give a kind of disclaimer here that this is designed for those users that aren't super users, that aren't using it completely, you know, pros, the, the epic ones that use it daily and heavily and know all of the tips and tools. So if you're that kind of person, maybe think about turning away. I mean, you can keep following, but I, I would definitely re review whether you probably know this stuff already. Um, but, but it's more designed for those who've been using Evernote for about three months onwards and that are kind of looking to explore more options when kind of breaking down and using Evernote a little more. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run over those four parts of Evernote for web. Number one is a, a really cool feature that I found really, really useful when communicating with other people. And it's called Work Chat. And um, for those who don't know, Work Chat is basically a tool that allows you to share notes um, between colleagues that are either using Evernote or aren't using Evernote. And basically, once doing that, you can actually give them direct access to using the note. So as you can see here, once I press the button to share that note, it gives me permission access to share it with other people, share it with other people. So I can allow them to view it, I can allow them to edit, I can even allow them to invite other people. And I can actually choose other people to go into that work chat, which is really, really handy. So work chat's a really, really useful tool and you can access it by hovering over notes and pressing the work chat icon or by going up to the page and pressing share straight away. The next thing to do is save search. And basically what I found quite useful when it comes to save search is actually being able to save searches that I regularly go on. So I made an example here. I don't usually search cats, but this is a save search. And basically what it does is so whenever I need to suddenly get to cats, uh, you know, in my day, what I can do is I can press cats and it will pop up and bring up all the notes that are relevant. I'm not sure it's not bringing it up quite now, but it does. And it can see all of obviously the handwriting inside the notes, anything that mentions cats or even pictures of cats, which is crazy. Um, and that's pretty handy. And basically you can access it by, let's say, you know, you, you, you want to change it to dogs potentially. Um, let's say you search there and it's a simple button on the side called save search and you can save the search as something completely different like uh, could be uh, pictures of dogs and uh, it will come up for that next time which is really really handy so that's really useful the next thing i want to talk about is shortcuts and this is something that you know a lot of people actually haven't found in Evernote yet and what I find useful with shortcuts is basically just bringing up all of the notes that you've starred or actually you want to remember. And it even includes notebooks, and, but I don't think it includes tags. Um, but here I can access all of the notebooks that are, notes and notebooks that are really relevant that I continually go to daily. So being able to simply star things as you go across your day. So, uh, you know, up here um, as the notes load, I can basically... When I want, click star over the note that I'm using. And that allows me, so hitting it up here uh, brings it straight into, so down here, into that. And I can simply minus that off if I don't want it anymore. So that's pretty handy. Uh, I mean, that's helped across my day and I'll definitely help you across your day. One thing I found in the last week that has been pretty handy with Evernote for web is I tend to do this. So I want to share this note specifically. Uh, it's not loaded, must be an issue on the back end. Um, but I tend to go over to here and click link to actually get the link and then copy over it and paste it into some and then send it to someone in an email. What I've tend to do in the last couple of weeks, click more and copy note link. And this simply, what well, it should do, <laughs> this simply uh, allows you to copy it straight away versus you having to make several button, button, button pressures, button presses. And if I go over to another tab, I can actually get it straight up and what other people would see of that note. So it's pretty handy. That's a pretty useful tool, copy note link and something to go away with and actually utilize for the web. Anyway, guys, that's all the tips I wanted to show you. Uh, I'll be looking at doing more if you want me to cover a specific part of the Evernote app or even, you know, I could do my hacks for the iPhone as well. 
Um, and I've actually done a blog on that, which has been pretty useful. But anyway, guys, I hope that's useful for you. Um, I hope you can go away and start using those as Evernote users. And I hope you're enjoying your experience. So let me know in the comments how you're using Evernote. And uh, let's spark up a conversation. So thank you very much, guys. Make sure to have a great week and keep productive. I'll see you guys very soon. Thank you.